Did you know that every day Facebook users upload up to 300 million new photos on the platform? Last year, a friend of mine, Matteo Cortesi, he is here on stage today, sent me a WhatsApp with these three photos. And he asked me afterwards a text-written text question. The question said, I know that social media assess our, our photos and our profiles with artificial intelligence. And based on that, they can boost more or less the profile. Which of those three photos is best for LinkedIn? Interesting question. It is a very interesting question because first, it underlines a very important fact that every time we upload a photo in a social media, before reaching the audience, the photo goes through a check, an automatic check, normally done by artificial intelligence. So the judges of our photos are first the social medias, and then the photo might reach our audience. Second, the question undermines that you understand in order to answer. You need to understand how a software think. You need to know the point of view of software, of artificial intelligence. And this is different for humans. Therefore, I said, what should I answer to Matteo? Should I just give him my opinion? I don't know how the, art the artificial intelligence thinks. But he didn't want to know my opinion. He wanted to know exactly what was the best for LinkedIn. Therefore, I started to work on artificial intelligence because I wanted to give him evidence. I didn't want just, just want to say, OK, number one is nice. And so I built up a tool that allows us to see how artificial intelligence sees the photos. For instance, this, the tool that, you, that is called the Image Sentiment Analysis Tool will look at the photo, detect the face, find out the emotion, see all the elements on the photo that are understood, read any text that is in the photo, find out if the photo is already online, find its origin, and what, what kind of usage is being made online with the same photo. So here, we can start to answer to, the, to Matteo's question, which one of those three photos is best from a LinkedIn standpoint of view? So I now ask you to turn off your human operating system for the next 10 minutes, and look at what we see with the artificial intelligence eyes. So number one, we scan the photo, we pass it through the tool, and it says, okay, this photo has a neutral emotion with a level of confidence quite high. Then in terms of elements understood on the photo, I can understand the mustache, the beard. I can understand that he's a, he's a professional guy, he's a Swiss banker. They make a lot of money by the way. So you can see that he is a, is, is, a, is a professional photo, number one. The number two, the emotion is slightly joyful, with a 10% confidence. And at the same time, the facial hair is still understood, but the manly side of the photo comes out strongly, because you can see better his forehead, and it's more focus center on the, on the face. The third one, totally changes. There, the emotion detective is joy with 100% level of confidence. And the elements understood on the photo are, for instance, the smile, again, with a very high level of confidence, again, the facial hair, and again, the gentleman's side. So, Matteo, which one should you use for LinkedIn? Ladies and gentlemen, now the moment you've all been waiting for. So the number one, if you want to look more professional, you know that every time you send a photo, you send a message behind that. So you want to position yourself as a professional, take number one. You want to position yourself more as a man, number two. You want to be the nice guy in the company, the likable one, the team player, number three from an artificial standpoint of view. And again, in which social media should, we, should you use those photos? The number one and the number two are probably very good for uh, LinkedIn and professional social media. 
And the second one, the third one, the likable one, probably is also good for Facebook, because that's more, let's say, different medium. And you guys know that the medium is the message. Photos. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to think about this laugh. I hope it's not about the photo, because OK. So photos are also important for your love life today. Before you date someone, probably, you're going to look at his Facebook profile, look at his photo or her photo, and you, you, to get an idea of who is this person, you know. So I said, let's try to see what is the most seductive photo for Tinder. And then I had to pick, pick up my photo, because Matteo said, don't take mine. <laughs> Number one. Joy is there, is found, is detected by the face, but in general it says it's a 100% level of confidence joy. In terms of elements understood on the photo, the drink is understood clearly. The male side is understood, that's a good point for me. And the fun comes out, because the, the entire background sends a message. So fun is also there. The second one, Again, the joy is there with a high level of confidence. And then there is the social side, the socialite side. The professional comes out because I'm, I'm wearing a jacket. And interesting to notice, in the background, I have uh, some words written, Kiabi. Uh, so it reads the text and it correlates through OCR, and it correlates my image with the uh, Kiabi. So think about if I had a tattoo here with something written, it would read the tattoo. By the way, I have a tattoo here, but I cannot show you now. <laughs> Photos are very important for corporations and for companies. When they want to decide which advertising they should take, and they spend a lot of money on advertising, probably it's very important to see the photo, not just with business experience, but also with uh, some, something more. And here I picked up randomly a, a photo of a home insurance website. Here it's, it's this family, nice family with a dog. And I, I would like to ask you, please raise your hand if you think this photo is suitable for a home insurance website. Please raise your hand. So all the others, raise your hand if you think it's not suitable. There are a lot of neutral people, as usual. <laughs> they are the ones who are looking for, to go for, for, for lunch. OK. So let's run again the, to the tool, and let's run the photo on the tool. And what says? It says, OK, joy is found there with 100% confidence. And you see the, the family are smiling, the, the parents, the children. And then people are recognized. That's good. Dogs. The dog is recognized, but it's a secondary element in terms of uh, importance on the photo. If you just calculate the pixel, the dog has maybe 20% of the pixel, the family has uh, 70. So it's more the family. Now we run the tool and, ch and check any association on the web, any related image that are found on the web. And we ask the tool, what is this photo related with? And it says it's related more with dogs. Not so much with family, it's more related with dogs. And then it says stock photography. You guys know what is a stock photography is a photo you buy online and anybody can buy that and you can find the same photo in different websites. And you guess what? The same photo is being used in other websites. For instance, here we have a Sinmar Cleaning Incorporation company. They are using exactly the same photo. And what do they do? They don't sell insurance. They kill odors and bacteria. <laughs> and another company, it's a loan and pet services. And they, again, they have the same photo. So probably if you knew this before, you would think twice before using that photo. Or at least, if you were a big brand, you would go to your boss and say, look, you want this photo. If there is a problem, it's your problem. When you decide what you want to eat, you want to know where does the meat, for instance, comes from. If, it, if it's a Swiss-made Swiss meat, you're happy. What about the images we are using? Do you know 
Where are the images you are using on your corporate website? Do you know where they come from? Where are they being used today? You better know that on Monday, because the day your boss finds out about this artificial intelligence, you want to know that. In the future, and I think near future, we will decide our image based upon our personal experience, but also based upon in artificial intelligence. It's not going to be anymore, I like this photo, you like that. No, you have an evidence and you say, okay, I like better this one because, and you have evidence and facts. It's going to be a tsunami. Because we upload so many photos on the web, we now have such a large data set of data that we can compare the photo with. How is, how is this going to change my job, your job? There are new people working in artificial intelligence, new kind of works, data scientists and many others. But mostly artificial intelligence is going to be, is going to be an extra ingredient added to your current job. You're not going to be replaced by those machines if you know how to use artificial intelligence and machine learning. Let's say you are a lawyer. You want to check if uh, photos of the logo of the company are being used somewhere else, then you can, you can add to your current job artificial intelligence. And you're going to find who's going to use the, the photos without a license. You are a fashion designer. You have defined your collection. You want to decide the front photo of the front page of your collection. Which emotion comes out of this photo? Which emotion do I want to give to my, in terms of my positioning? You can run artificial intelligence. And also, if you are a hairdresser, customer comes to you and says, oh, I want this new haircut. You can run it through artificial intelligence and find out correlation. So artificial intelligence is a new ingredient you need to add to your job as soon as possible. Thank you.